Okay, in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 20, we're going to take a movie. This is the movie that came with the program, by the way, uh, just to show this. And we're going to author it. Uh, in other words, we're going to make it so that it looks how you want and it burns to the disc the way you want it to. Uh, that'll be in a later video, too, burning it. But for right now, um, I did another video on an automatic way of doing all this that uses these markers down here to automatically create uh, chapters everywhere there's a marker out here this is a different way of doing it uh, that you don't really have to hold to these you can actually take them out of there if you want um, and you can do that by clicking on it and clicking that and it will take this marker out uh, so we're, we can use them or not doesn't matter make sure you're on a track that has something in it some type of media in it or else this procedure won't work all right now we've got this highlighted and we come up to author and that puts in a menu list track all right and if you go to navigation disk menus you're going to see all the disk menus pop up here now they're grouped, uh, I believe, into like sports, holidays, celebrations, that kind of thing. For, there's for children, uh, anniversaries, so they, they've kind of got them organized for you, uh, which is nice. Now you're going to notice too that there are, looks like two of each one of these. They're not the same. They don't get fooled to think that they're both just the same menus. The very first one in the list is your main menu. This is what you're going to see whenever you put the disc in to your player and it comes up on your TV. It's going to wait for you to choose either to play the whole movie or to select a scene that you want to see. So Remember, it's the first one, the main menu. This one is for your uh, it's a sub menu of it to pick out uh, your scene selections. So take the first menu, drag it down into your menu track. And when you do this, you're going to see a C1 here and here. This is a button. All right. And the C1 stands for chapter one. So your movie is going to start in the beginning. Strange as that sounds, they have to make sure you know that. You could have your movie take off from somewhere else in the movie, I guess, but by default, it's going to create a chapter one at the very beginning of your movie here. All right. Now, the way I showed you before using it, doing it automatically, this is going to differ from that. All right. When you bring your second menu down, Here are your buttons. Okay, there's four of them here. They're not linked to anything yet. All right, you have your previous, main, and next. Now these buttons are here for chapters, all right? But they're not linked to any certain place in the movie yet. Now, if you want your movie to start out at the very beginning for chapter one, this is chapter one here. If you grab this, hold down your left mouse button, and drag it to the C1 here. It's going to link this now to chapter one. Okay. So now you have one chapter, but that would play the whole movie because you haven't made it a second chapter yet. The M2 you see here, that is only for if you get to the end of the movie, it's going to go back to the very beginning of your video and loop through this main menu until you choose what you want to do again. Just so you know. So now we're in the sub menu you can move your cursor to wherever it is you want the second chapter to start now here's a little trick if you get close to the end of a clip let go with your cursor use your right arrow key and it will go through frame by frame until you get to the very first clip of the frame of the next clip now let's say this is where you want your second chapter to start you have your cursor here Okay, 
up here you want to highlight your second chapter and since you have your cursor set here you come over here and create a link to the button number two for where your cursor is at. So now you see chapter two is right where you had your cursor. All right, you can come up here. We won't use that one. trying to find a decent clip here all right let's say you want your third chapter to go to there now always make sure you go back into your sub menu and now your third chapter is here now there's a couple other buttons here and the ones you see that show the broken this is to remove a link um, in the in the same with any of these buttons you'll see that there's usually a button to get rid of them like the marker button with the slash through it but this button here insert link this is similar to this but let's say you want you, you want to keep this marker space here you want this to be one chapter another chapter but you get here and you decide okay I actually want this to be chapter two not three but I do want this to be a, a cutoff for the chapter. When you're back here, you've already got chapter two made. Okay? So it thinks chapter two stopping or starting right here, chapter one stopping. If you get to here and you say, well, wait a minute, I want this to be chapter two and this to be chapter three, you can leave this here. Now you're highlighting chapter two. Normally, if you would go through here, you would do this as chapter three and four and so on. But like I said, if you want to switch these two, if you're wondering what this button does, leave it on chapter two. And if you insert a link here now, you see that turn to chapter two and replace this one with chapter three. So now the order is going to go in as one, two, three. That I just wanted to show you that. Uh, that's uh, one of the uses of that button. I don't particularly think you're going to be doing that. I don't. So I'm going to go back to creating these chapters in the order they're in. All right, we have this moved here, and we're going to create a link to this for chapter. Sorry. That's what happens if you don't pick the right chapter. This is unlinked now. Okay, just so you know, just undo that. You have to be in the right chapter, the right button, and then click your link. And this will turn into C3, this will stay as C2, and C1. And you just keep doing this, all right? And you're creating your chapters as you go, all right? Now, there are four chapters here. Let's say you want five chapters that means you can either create another button in here put all five in here or this is going to create another menu to hold the very last chapter um, what you can do if you want more than one button in here or four buttons uh, or you want one six it doesn't matter when you're in your sub menu if you click edit going to take you into your edit session uh, you can actually resize all of these if you click on one of them hold control click on all and then as you resize it resizes all of them to the same size okay so let's say you want to do this to make room for the, your fifth chapter you can click in any of these right click and copy layer Come back out here somewhere, right click and paste the layer. That's going to paste it right back over top of the one you just copied. But once it does, you can drag it off and this can be your fifth chapter. Okay, now it's going 
to say one on it. Don't pay any mind to that. Click OK. This is how you put another extra button inside of your menu. So there it is. Now you have five buttons, okay? So now we can move this forward and do chapter four. We'll do it. Now make sure you're in the right chapter. This is four. Create a link here. It's going to be chapter four. C4. And you want to go into make it. This is for chapter five. Make sure you're in this very last one. Create a link for it. This will say C5 now. So now you have all of your chapters here. So when you put your disc in, you're going to see this. If you go to scene selection, you'll get to pick any of these out. All right, now, if you notice though, if you go to main menu, you're still seeing this question mark here. All right, this is for your scene selection. It doesn't know where to look, believe it or not. So you have to tell it to link to your menu here. Once you do that and it links to here, it's gonna link all these buttons together, all right? So you click the drop down and say link this button to the menu. And if you have more than one menu, it'll say menu two, three, four, or whatever. But pick your first menu, which is menu two. It'll do its little thing here. And when it's done, you see it says menu two. That's linked to that. What that means is now when you go in, you put your DVD in. Remember, this is a simulator this is what you're going to see you can either click on here and play movie now you have your scene selection so when you click on it and this is within your DVD player now you have all your chapters so when you click on one it takes you to that chapter and plays it you return back to your scenes and you can either start at the beginning pick the very last chapter if you want to go back to your main menu and just play the whole movie, you go back to main and click here. And that is how you create menus for your movies.